The Hasco Summer School is always a special occasion, but this year even more so than ever before. 2024 marks the 70th anniversary of CERN, the European Centre for Particle Physics, one of the greatest science laboratories in the world. This year, contributions to scientific knowledge, technological innovation and international collaboration will be celebrated. Groundbreaking discoveries, like the discovery of the W and Z boson in 1983, or the discovery of the Higgs boson in 2012, opened up a whole new sector of particle physics. At the same time, new unanswered questions become visible and the search for new physics continues. This anniversary not only honours the past achievements of collider physics, but also prompts us to envision the future. With the ongoing advancements in accelerator technology and detectors, we stand on the brink of new frontiers in our understanding of fundamental particles and forces. Um, I mean, there are multiple reasons why we should celebrate CERN. It's, uh, the original idea of their organization was to promote science for peace which I think it's doing a very good job, especially in these times, I think it's very important. It achieved many scientific discoveries that might sound, they're not relevant for normal people. But I think when you look at the byproducts of what was discovered, I think that's, that changes everyday's life. Um, I think uh, the biggest thing that CERN has achieved is probably the internet. Um, I really wish that we could end up having science with better communication, that we could make it accessible for everybody. Because I strongly believe that scientists are great, but if they can't communicate it to either the students or the public, nobody will really care about what they do and nobody will see how valuable science actually is. CERN has celebrated its 70th anniversary this year and ever since the beginning it has been a breeding ground for scientific productivity and people coming to the CERN site or being united from their home institutes through the CERN um, group find ways to work together on hard to solve problems um, and sometimes it's little encounters with people you don't see very often that give you the idea that fixes the problem and that's one of the things I love most about CERN. The future of CERN is being described now and whether the next project will be 100 kilometer collider or something else needs to be decided because basically your arguments first of all should be based on the scientific importance of the future collider project and I'm not the advocate who says that FCC project is the best collider project for the future. We need to find a reasonable compromise in order to advance the accelerator physics and from the other point of view, stay within the reasonable CERN budgets. The role of the big accelerator laboratories like CERN is innovate, publish and share in order to bring the world at least a little bit closer together. The Hasco Summer School is just one of the many building blocks that come together to continue the work at CERN in the future. The University of Göttingen is where history and the future meet. 42 students from around the world, from countries such as Italy, Lithuania, France, the UK, Belgium, the Netherlands, Austria and South Korea, meet for nine days of introductory Hadron Collider physics. A staple of summer schools at the University of Göttingen covers a wide variety of topics, accompanied by hands-on exercises such as widely used software tools, statistical data analysis and experimental measurement techniques. Participants also have the opportunity to engage with leading scientists in the field. The school also serves to expand your network with peers from all around the world and explore the rich academic landscape of Göttingen, a city renowned for its contributions to science and education. Well, it seems like a great opportunity to come and learn from some of the leading experts in the field of particle physics. 
and also spend some time with other people who are interested in the same field. The lecturers are very inspiring. Um, I think it's really nice how enthusiastic they are about their research. It comes across like really well when they're lecturing. So I think that if you're really interested in particle physics, ASCO is a great place to learn more uh, about particle physics, to understand uh, what could be possible uh, topics to get interested for future studies. That was one of the motivations for me to come here to learn more about topics I'm really interested in and to get in touch with people who actually research those topics so I could know if that would maybe be something for me to go more in one of those directions. People are here optionally and here, for, here to learn some, some interesting physics um, and so it's, it's been fun seeing those friendships develop alongside the, the lecture. Since science is not all about work but living as well, there is a wealth of activities through which you can get to know each other outside of the lecture hall. German culture plays an important role in most activities, ranging from a barbecue, bowling alleys, trips to the Harz Mountains and much more. Special emphasis is placed on the history of Göttingen, the old and the new. A visit to the University Museum, the Forum Wissen, shows how current science communication works. And a historical treasure hunt and walking tour will make you believe that Göttingen really is the center of the universe. Don't believe us yet? Then see you at Hasco 2025 next year.